This is a Perth teleport. Uh, just an introduction as to some of the antennas we have here. These two antennas that you see here are uh, both vertex antennas. They're both nine meter antennas and they're both used for the TT and C for uh, SES World Sky satellites. This antenna here as well is the NSS9 antenna, TT and C for SES World Skies. Uh, we can see from this antenna over to uh, most of the Pacific region. So it gives us coverage basically as we can see from this teleport and from our Adelaide teleports, we can see as far west as London and as far east as the west coast of the USA. The two antennas we have on the roof here are both C-band antennas. The orange unit we see here is the station generator. The way the system works, uh, we normally run off the incoming mains power. However, during any interruptions, we have a 550 kVA generator, which uh, can take the station load. We have never lost power in the station. We, because of the actual uh, backup system that we've had and everything was renewed a few years ago, thereby we can maintain our 100% uh, availability. Sometimes we have more than one antenna on a satellite. Both these antennas here, the 8.1 meter and the 4.5, are looking at the same satellite, which is a SAT-GE 23 satellite. The reason being, the, the larger antenna is a KU band antenna, 4.5 is a C band antenna. So we offer services on both C and KU band on the GE23 satellite, but we have to have two separate antennas on that. This antenna here is a 13 meter antenna used for Inmarsat, for Inmarsat services, which is basically used for ships at sea. It's a C band antenna, C band up and down to the satellite, and we have a remote antenna hanging off the bottom which is an L-band antenna, which utilizes the tracking system of the larger antenna, which allows us to simulate the remote end at the, at the ships at sea. The 4.5 meter antenna, which we see here, is pointing at Superbird C2. And USA have just recently pointed this antenna at Superbird C2 as the demand for growth has grown for the JCSAT services. The larger antenna in the background is a 13 meter vertex antenna on NSS6. It's a KU band antenna and used for TT and C purposes. As well as having all these antennas, the actual uh, background of the station, we have terrestrial connectivity from AMCOM, AAPT, Telstra and Optus. And if we look behind us, we have a microwave tower, which also gives us uh, backup connectivity into the Perth CBD. We have various different types of networks that we, we operate. One of the main ones is an SCPC service, which is single carrier per channel, which basically means you've got one transmission towards the remote end, from here to the remote end, and another signal coming from the remote end back to us. So that would simulate like two of these carriers, one going out the way, one coming back in. Some customers only have one remote end, so the SCPC is perfect for them. Other customers might have multiple remote sites, so the TDMA network is ideal for them, where all the, all the data transmitted from here goes to all the remotes, but some of them just timing groups come in, the channels at the remote end just burst in occasionally. So there's multiple different types of networks for different types of hubs and different types of systems that the guys monitor. Security system, we're, as I said, we're manned 24-7, 365. Every satellite actually transmits a signal which is not for communications, it's purely for tracking. So what we have, we have a tracking receiver here, which is locked onto that receive frequency. That gives us a receive signal into a control unit. And this control unit, we use it to actually maneuver the antenna. So we can drive those big antennas from here by pushing buttons and making it move up and down and back and forth. Hopefully we don't have to do that because it's all automated. It should do it all itself. This is an iDirect hub. And this is the, the latest uh, technology, this, the, the state-of-the-art technology that everyone's using. The reason being for it, this is not ours. This is a customer of ours. We rent out this whole rack to them. This is our one here next door. But this is just easier to show you. It's exactly the same. But the beauty of this, this chassis can actually look at five different satellites at the same time if we want it to. Satellite operations and satellite control is generally divided up into two divisions. You've got the SOC, Satellite Operations Centre, 
which is actually looking after the health of the satellite, all the onboard statistics and whether the amplifiers and switching systems, power systems are all healthy. And the, the unit that actually does that is these units called Cortex unit. So the, all these racks here looking after the health of the satellite itself, making sure it stays in its geostationary orbit and everything's, everything's working on board.